Welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Jin mid versus an Oriana, and we're back on the PBE because I want to do showcase the uh, new crit changes for a lot of AD carry items where crit items now have 25% on every single item. So you only need four of them to get to 100% very easily. But not only that, some items got changed where they lost crit, like Bloodthirster no longer has it. And also there's a new crit item in the game called this Wild Arrows. Uh, Wild Arrows is an item that makes it so when you crit, the person bleeds for two seconds for physical damage. That physical damage has scaling on it, and uh, it has infinite stacking. So if you auto attack very quickly, you can stack it however much you, you want. I mean, the stacks fall off, so obviously you would have to attack really fast to stack it higher than like four. <laughs> um, I already tried it like on Caitlyn with full build and it, you it will like never go above three because two seconds is a pretty short amount of time. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, why am I playing Jin then? Because Jin doesn't attack fast at all, right? Well, Jin has really high AD, so I want to try to make it so when I build this item, I will cause people to bleed for a huge amount of damage. Uh, I've already tested it. At full build, the bleed will deal 330 uh, and not only that, but remember that it stacks. And during late game, when you're full build and you have a crit, it's very easy to auto attack two times in quick succession because uh, Jin has faster attack speed as the game goes on. So it should be very easy to do two autos and that deals 660 physical damage. And that's not even like counting, of course, the crits themselves. So that is the first thing that I want to talk about. The other thing that I want to talk about is Runin's can crit. So, with runins, that applies wild arrows. So that means that I, once again, uh, can cause the bleed on other people. And it's not at a reduced effect, it does the full amount. So, the goal is, buy runins, buy this item, and when I auto-attack people, they bleed and take a bunch of damage. Uh, because it does 330, that means that if there's two other people standing next to them, I can deal with one auto attack. 330 times 3 is 990. We're just going to round that up to 1,000 because 990 is super lame. So we, we can deal 1,000 bleed damage with one auto on Jin. Now, that being said, uh, Runins is pretty bad on Jin. Why do people not build Runins on Jin? It's because his auto attack range is not very good. Uh, if you didn't know, the Runin's bolts that get applied are based off of your attack range. So if you don't have very good attack range, the bolts don't really go that far. Um, so that could be an issue, right? Well, we're going to be building Rapid Fire Cannon. Rapid Fire Cannon will solve the issue of the bolts not going far. Of course, we're going to lose some AD because obviously there's better items for AD than Runin's. But we're going to be building it purely to make it so... Inside of team fights, when people are somewhat close to each other, there's a much greater chance when I have my uh, rapid fire up that it's going to hit another person as well and uh, cause the bleed on them. So that is what I have uh, thought up for this video. That is what I wanted to test. So that is what we're going to try. I've been actually trying to play this for quite some time because PB is an absolutely terrible place to play. Unless you 10-man uh, stack, which I'm not doing. Because if you win, uh, the enemy team gives up. And they will literally go AFK. Or they will FF at 15. And if you're... Uh, I mean, if you're losing, it's fine. It's whatever. It's it's only if you win. <laughs> you can't win too hard. Otherwise, people just give up. And because it's PB, people don't care to like leave the game. They literally just leave. That actually makes her live. You want to fight me? I, I'll fight you. Oh my god, I'm dead. Really? I can't believe it. Dude, her E does so much damage. But that's a good death. Because anything to make the game last longer, I, I realize that apparently me doing good during the early game makes people give up. So maybe it's really good to die. Plus, I'm doing good CS-wise, so having a death like that isn't that big of a deal. We might need to tell Mundo 
I am playing pre-made because the queue times on PB are 15 minutes if you play solo. It's impossible to get into a game because nobody plays on this server. Um, I guess nobody really cares about trying out the new changes. I do. I like the new changes. It's fun to play them, but... Um, I might need to tell him to run it down so they don't give up because uh, that Cassante, if he kills him one more time, might legitimately leave the game. Because that's what people do. <laughs> now, we did see her ulti the wave, so she doesn't have ultimate for a little bit. She is going for that new mage item. Hey, that bounce to her, nice. Big damage. <coughs> I got a foot, uh, pretty good first purchase as well. I mean, uh, a full BF sword is quite nice. Ooh, that bounce to her as well. Good bounce again. Yo, Cassante died again? Dude. If I can land this W, I'm gonna ult. Oh my god, she flashed so preemptively. Okay. I mean, you're 1 HP though. All, all I need to do now is I need to try to shove in this wave, but I prep my fourth shot, and then I just ghosted her. As soon as she steps up, just a little bit. Okay, she used her thing. I'm just gonna die here, but I'll kill her with me. And then I get the wave as well. That's not that bad. We'll definitely take that. I'm trying to see how this matchup is going top right now. My Mundo has his ult, so I imagine Cassante can't kill him. Hopefully Cassante doesn't get baited and give another kill. I mean, Cassante can't even hit Mundo because Mundo has his passive up. <coughs> Sorry for any coughing, by the way, I'm sick, so. Anyways, as you can see, the CS discrepancy in mid is gigantic now. I, I am winning by a significant margin, and that's because I kind of dove her on a wave, so she just didn't even have an opportunity to get anything. Is he dead? No, he's not. If I had my ult, I might just go bot, but I don't, because those guys are really low. I didn't get it by her Q, so I didn't really deal that much. I'm gonna use my Q on the wave because that's gonna bounce to her. She used her E late, so that shield did not work, really. Nami's full HP. We see where Kindred is, so nobody's gonna be bot side. But yet, the, I don't think that I'm gonna realistically hit the Caitlyn when Nami is full HP there, so I'm just not even gonna go. It's just not worth it. Big bounce again. Gigantic hit onto that guy. Okay, now we're going to rotate bot because they're fighting really hard and maybe I can get there and help. Looks like Jinx probably kills this guy. Oh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Well, at least I got the kill. The Kindred might be here. Yeah, I had a feeling. Okay, bot lane is shoved out. That will uh, crash under turret. I wanted to open up on Nami, but if I did, Kindred would have just walked in front of Nami and I would have never been able to get the kill in the first place, so. We're gonna be building a dagger as well. Uh, we're also gonna be building Berserker Greaves because other changes have also happened. For instance, Swifty Boots no longer gives 60 movement speed, now gives 45, but when you auto attack, you get movement speed. So, uh, just slower boots in general, except for when you're auto-attacking, then it's a buff. Um, 
I don't really like that for Jin. But also, it, like, it might not be that bad for Jin, and maybe it will be the boot, best boot. But for what I'm trying to do, right? Jin's passive is how he gets more AD than any other champion in the game. His passive is uh, when you build crit in just like over time, it also gives it to you. So it's levels, crit, and attack speed turn into bonus AD. So uh, Berserker Greaves is going to give me AD. Not only that, but Berserker Greaves has a really cool effect. Oh my god, that bounce is so crazy, actually. Oh my god, careful. You're gonna take so much damage. Uh, nice gank, Amumu. Anyways, uh, Berserker Greaves is the only boot in the entire game now that can be upgraded again. That's right, you can upgrade your boots into a Zephyr at level 15. Uh, why Why is it only Berserker Greaves get to be upgraded and no other boot? I don't know, to make AD carries happy? Like, <laughs> it seems kind of ridiculous that they basically get a better version of a boot, but okay, that's fine, whatever. I can maybe ulti her. Yeah, there. Get her flash. I, I was waiting and not shooting immediately because I, I thought that she had flash and I was right. So I was trying to use my abilities afterwards. I'm going to tell my Mundo to die. He has to. It has been too much time. <laughs> yeah, I like how he's trying to die, but he's still... Oh, wait. Oh, this is it. Nice. Big. Make it so he doesn't leave the game. Thank you. We're trying to showcase the item. <laughs> so, I haven't even built it yet. Uh, for next item, I'm probably going to be building the uh, bleed item because the bleed item gives you AD and crit. So the AD and crit is, uh, you know, one of the most effective things Jin can build. That's why people like building Collector on Jin because AD, crit, lethality. Attack speed, once again, isn't really the best to build on Jin. So you normally build attack speed items because they have other effects that benefit Jin, like the increased attack range and stuff. So yeah, I am going to be building, what is it, wild, I don't even know the name of the item, I already forgot, wild uh, something, why does it not show up, that's weird, what, oh, it's because noon quiver builds out of crit, that's why, <laughs> I was like so confused for a second, noon quiver builds out of crit, so that's new, I didn't know that it builds out of that, that's interesting, does it do something different, no it doesn't, okay, so they remove noon quiver's uh, bonus damage to monsters and minions. Huh. This used to deal bonus damage. So you can, like, last it easier? They remove that. Also, it only builds into two items the entire game. <laughs> Literally only goes into shield bow and the wild arrows item. So that's, uh, different. <clears throat> Lots of changes on, like, every single item. For instance, shield bow no longer gives, uh, lifesteal. Bloodthirster, I already mentioned the no crit on that. Kraken Slayer, no crit on Kraken anymore. Like, the, like some crazy stuff. Maw has ability haste on it again. Didn't have ability haste pre previously. <coughs> Excuse me for the coughing. Is he going to kill this guy? I might be able to kill him. I wonder if I should just opened up instead of just running. I guess we'll find out. Dang it! 
Oh, I should have opened up instead of just running. Man. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay, so I'm going to build a Noon Quiver. And that builds out of a pickaxe. So I guess we're not going to be building that. Strange stuff. Other things that I noticed for crit item changes. Essence Reaver does not have Sheen inside of it, nor does it have Spellblade anymore. So, for instance, Gangplank can't be using it anymore. Uh, yeah, so what Essence Reaper does now is every single auto attack gives you back mana. That's it. That's literally all it does. So, uh... Maybe a nerf to the item? Ability Haze, Crit Chance, AD, Basic Attacks, Refund Mana. No spell blade. Kind of kind of crazy. I really want to fight with a Moo Moo. Okay, dragons in one minute. I'm going to just ping the dragon a bit because we should just focus on that. If I get that, that'd be really nice because I'm playing Jin and <coughs> that obviously will feed back into my massive amount of AD. Jeez, dude, that was frustrating she she just flashed on me trying to one shot me with her infinity edge she almost did i didn't even realize she built infinity edge first item that 100 percent would have killed me easily that she did so much there how much money do i need besides the pickaxe 1800 ah oh, man i'm not even close oh well we we will base uh get ready for this dragon buy a blue uh trinket I'm up a pretty significant amount of farm, so we're still doing really good item-wise, kind of. <clears throat> Oriana surprisingly has, like, even gold spent as me. Even though I have three kills on her and so much farm. And turret. But... Let's do the dragon, boys. Let's go. Okay, my team should be able to secure that. It's really good. I will just take this wave, and then after I take this wave, I will base, and then I am ready to... Uh, I, I can go side lane instead of Jinx. I, I just wanted to get enough money to finish my item. So, how much does it bleed for? 150 a hit. I mean... That means three auto attacks technically give you one more auto. <laughs> That's... Not that bad, right? Deals 160. I'm trying to wait for his thing to expire. The thing is that if I uh, don't let his shield expire, it gives massive damage reduction. So, you know, I want to make sure that <clears throat> he doesn't for some reason live. I, I take forever to kill that guy because he has armor, 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 three separate items, and I have none at all. No armor pen. So. Oh my god, okay. She just ran outside of her own thing, so. Now, do I want to go Rapid Fire, or do I want to go Runins next? Rapid Fire will make it so I can auto-attack further away. While uh, Runins will just make it so I can maybe hit multiple people, if they even teamfight, you know? It's very rare for, like, 5v5 teamfights to happen. 
inside of these games because everybody's kind of just doing their own thing. Like, Cassante probably will split push all game. Oh, this guy might kill me, actually. Amumu does have ults. I can just fourth shot and that's it, though. He just used his E. His E CD is pretty damn short, though. Hit him with that. Okay, cool. Nice. Good kill. That was very close. I almost died there. <coughs> Thank you, Mumu, for the help. Ally has been slain. That's good. <laughs> uh, They both build out of the same item, so let's just build it. Another thing that also got changed, and this is another GP thing. Uh, Navori Quick Blades is something that GP builds a lot of because it lowers the CD of his abilities. It actually... Uh, it still exists, but it builds out of zeal now, and it has no bonus AD. <coughs> so because it has no bonus AD, then, like, it's not a GP item. <laughs> Dude, what the heck? Why is she so fast? I'm just trying to auto-attack her. Okay. So this item is so bugged. It it says bonus damage dealt is 46, but it was previously saying a different number, so I guess it just changes all the time. So yeah, don't I guess there's no way to tell how much damage is going to be dealing this game besides like, you know, watching me kill people. <laughs> 46 damage, yeah. Okay. Not the perma split push. Dang, you didn't even ulti either. Oh, that was kind of close. I almost died of that Caitlyn ult, but I'm a lot. Oh. We can maybe still fight, potentially. Depends on if I can have frontline. Actually, maybe we just base. Because I think I could run back to the dragon? I think rapid fire first before runins makes sense. <coughs> the runins will eventually be built, but not yet. Also, Jinx, unfortunately, is gone. She's been AFK in base for quite some time. Oh, but it looks like we can still do the dragon because the enemy uh, went top. So despite Jinx not being here anymore, we still have the potential of uh, getting this. Oh. Never mind, man. Nice! Secure! He got it! One auto? Nice! Okay, here comes the Nami wave. Nice, and another kill when Nami tried to kill me? Don't FF, for the love of God, please. Maybe I should let Caitlyn kill me with ult. Caitlyn, would your ultimate kill me? Unfortunately, I have red buff, so I'm regening a lot. Let me just take it. Nice, got the turret. That gives a lot of money. Like, that's not even that bad of a death, to be honest. If I was to die, <laughs> because I even took the turret, too. And as you saw, turrets are worth, like, 700 plus gold. This, the inner one, so... I just got paid out a massive amount of money. And now, we can do this. It looks like some of them are grouping, and that's nice, so... Like, for instance, when these three are together, and I have rapid fire when I auto-attack, like, one of them, 
I want the bolts to hit all of them, and that's going to cause the bleed. Right now, it deals 211, because, you know, I'm not full build yet. You need to get to full build to get to the high AD numbers. Uh, but this is still way higher than any other... Like, this is... You can't even get to 600 AD on Caitlyn with full build. It's not possible. Like, 500 is max. And that's with, like, selling boots as well. How much does Zephyr cost? 2,000? Okay. It looks like they're finally grouping, but once again, I just don't have my uh, thing done. So. Oh, dang. A throw. Yo, this is actually kind of good, though. <laughs> I'm down for my team to throw it. Okay, I killed one. Oh. I don't know if I can survive. Oh my god, dude! Cassante's crazy! Does Oriana die? Oh, the minion? I, I think she went down to like 1 HP because she was at 20 and a minion ball hit her. That's, that's good. A tiny loss is not bad. Seraphine, can you defend? No. Seraphine? 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 Alright, so next team fight. Thankfully, they're grouping now. I'm, I'm pretty happy about this. Uh, we can finally cook up with what we have been trying to do all game. <laughs> <clears throat> of course, Cassante is not going to take any damage whatsoever, so our next item after the Runins is going to be uh, not a Bloodthirster, because otherwise I'm not going to deal any damage to uh, Cassante. I, I probably have to go this uh, Lord Doms. I have to build it. He's too tanky. Dragon's coming up pretty soon. I think that will be what we're fighting next. As you can see, my auto attack speed is much faster now because I'm a higher level, so Jin just attacks much quicker now. Boom. Completed. I, I guess we can just kill Cassante. Why not? Why not kill this guy? How much do I bleed for right now? 224. Dang, not me again. I might just have to ulti here. I got her. One auto attack is oh, all I needed. Okay, I think I can do this. Dang it, I missed. Maybe I can't actually. The reason why I think I can't is because I don't have any lifesteal. And that's an issue. <clears throat> Normally you would take Legend Bloodline, but I, sp I, I took the attack speed to once again have more... Uh, Oh, she might be dead. Really, I, I figured that I could buffer my ability, but I can't. Take the dragon, you guys can have it. Yeah, the no the no bloodline just makes it so I just don't heal for as much as I probably need to. I could I could literally not build If I build LDR, I'm overcapping my crit, huh? But I'm just not gonna deal anything to Cassante though. Would that be an issue? Oh no, she keeps DCing. It's so rough. What should I do? <laughs> 
Bloodthirster costs so much. Let's go, Bloodthirster. Good luck. Good luck, me. Cassante has big armors. All right, back to defending mid. I only need 600 gold to get my item. Mundo is honestly not that tanky. He's he's like pure HP with no like defensive stats besides that. So that's really the reason why uh, he keeps dying so fast. Oh, not the Baron. Okay. I have Flash for next team fight, but I don't have like other things. Like I, I w honestly want to fight with Ghost. Probably we're at about 900 AD. How much damage does it deal now? As you can see, around the 330 that I mentioned before. We just needed to get like a. One more tick of this, or the dragon would have brought us to 330. The baron would have brought us to 330. 313 is pretty good, though. Oh, yeah. Wait, no. It's the red pot that I'm missing. That's that's the thing. Red pot is going to get it. Never mind. Yeah, I don't even need that stuff. I'm just not going to deal any damage to Cassante, though. Wait a second, boys. Mundo is going hard. He's probably dead here. Man, it's going to be so hard to do the next team fight after Mundo dies. Because they might all run it down mid, and I don't know if we can do anything when that happens. Kinder didn't even have to burn her ult either. Dang. Oh well. Three thirty-five. Now. Dude, Jinx might die. Versus Cassante. <laughs> Please don't. Is she dead? I knew it. Oh my god, she's not. Thank god. I was worried. Caitlyn is not full build, but also she's building armor as well. What? What is she building? A GA? We need to fight together. Hmm. Mundo dead? Yeah. I can't even step up either. That was not bad damage, though. This Oriana ball is so annoying to go against because if I step up to even get a rapid fire hit and I get hit by the ball and, and I do get ultied, I think I could die. And if I die, the game's probably over. Wow, my auto attack got canceled. Dang. I don't know. I'll just ulti here just for poke, I guess. I don't know. What? 
Oh, you got me. She flash crit. No! My chance! My chance. Is everybody, like, is it over over? After all of that? Mm, my team might be able to wave clear it. Maybe. Jinx is respawning pretty soon. They just get the the Infernal Dragon Soul. And then I can red pot up again. Now, I, I still haven't built this, which I need to finish. But also, I could sell boots entirely to buy the, the armor pen. Because, you know, obviously that could be kind of important. Or even just, like, selling Rapid Fire. Even though Rapid Fire has been getting some good hits off. <coughs> it might be better just to... Have the, uh, the penetration. What do I want to do? Uh, she built a Randwitz. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I have to sell it. I think that I just keep the Berserker Greaves, I guess. You know what? Actually, I I'm so close to my item. Maybe I can afford it. I'm going to keep Berserker Greaves to try to get 300 gold because it's, it's pretty easy to get that. And then when I get the 300 gold, I can uh, sell my boots. Dang, that's not up. This sells for 770. I, I need like 100 gold. I can just do these. Okay, there. I got it. Buying? No, 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 no. Don't die. This is so bad if you die now. Okay. I might be a little bit slower, but when I auto attack people, I'm definitely not slow because I'm going to be critting. Holy shit. Do that, kindred ult. That kindred ult just ruined the play. Wow, what a what a damn kindred ult, man. What a damn kindred ult. That ruined everything. Well. God, I healed for so much. Should we just kill Cassante? Because he does go side lane quite often and like get himself caught out. <clears throat> he should be killable, no? Okay, well he's not even stepping up. I need to buy a red pot still. Whoa, 166 damage. <laughs> God. Oh, whoa, 83 damage. I feel like it's just taking the last value that I did over and over again. All right, I have 1,500 AD. Or 1,048. 1,500 would be crazy. 367. Jeez. Dude, my W hits so hard. I don't have flash though, you know? That's scary. I wonder what's gonna happen to me when I, uh, like, inevitably get, like, hit by... If my W landed, I probably would've ulti because I got a bounce on her. When I get hit by, like, Cassante ult, I, I'm just gonna be stuck and I can't even leave.
nobody's really getting chunked. I'm just dead before I can even react, bro. Cassante is Cassante. Well, I tried it, so... It, oh, wait. It shows, like, the total damage dealt, or... Was that, that... There's no way it did that much da damage during that one team fight. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed me uh, testing out this type of build. Um, you know, who knows if it's actually good or not. Let me know what you guys think. But I've been trying to do this for quite a while, and this is the game where I finally people don't give up. So thankfully, I got to play a game. I don't really care. It's a loss. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, the showcase of what uh, you can maybe think up of the new build. Sucks that we lost, but I mean, their team comp seemed pretty difficult to face uh, later in the game. Did most damage in the game, though, by quite a bit. So if only there was a way to tell how much damage it truly did, because I don't know if 3000 was like really how much it actually did. Or if that was just the final team fight. So, anyways, peace out. Have a great day. See you guys later.